So, it's beer o'clock and it's time for a game. Let's get started. Just switch the machine on. Uh, you can see the, uh, the blue LEDs have uh, lit up underneath the machine, giving it a little bit of a, a nice background glow. Rudder Pi um, is pretty quick to, to boot up, around about 30 seconds. Uh, and once you're into the emulation station, then you can move around the various menus, choose the game you want and get started. It takes a little bit longer to, to boot up at the moment um, as it tries to join my Wi-Fi network, which I've now disconnected. You don't need a Wi-Fi connect, uh, connected network or anything for the machine to, to operate, but it's useful for setting up. So we'll just wait the last few seconds for that. And here we go, we're into emulation station and we've got the menu so you probably can't see that from here I'll bring it a little bit closer in a minute but basically you can use the joystick to travel across the three menus that we've got here we've got the retro pie menu which just allows you to get into certain configuration things such as the audio and the um, Wi-Fi and things like that and the actual retro pie setup itself we have uh, the arcade games, um, I've got about a dozen games on here that I've just downloaded and I've actually downloaded Kodi, now I'm not, I'm not going to go into a great deal about what Kodi is um, if you know what it is, you know what it is, if you don't then uh, not much, uh, but it's not really a machine for Kodi um, and so let's, let's go into probably the most famous game and that's Pac-Man when you load a game um, Getting usually about sort of 10 to 15 seconds for the load up routine to start, screen flickers and what have you, and then you're in. Um, what we need to do now is just press the coin button. You can hear, I'll just maybe turn the sound up a wee bit. And then you can choose a single player and away you go. Now, I think it's probably going to be pretty, pretty boring for you guys, just uh, not really seeing what I'm doing. But, uh, and so what I'll do is I'll, I'll let myself get eaten and maybe then just break out of the program. Now to break out of any of the programs that you're running, all you do is press the red button and the single player button again. brings you back to the memory and you can choose a different game. This game I'll choose a more, more recent game from 2000 in fact, very recent uh, in comparison to Pac-Man of course. Um, 1944. So this is another um, shoot 'em up game. Just take a little while for this one to load. Time for a drink. And here we go. So I sort of press the, the button and then we can press the start button. I think by 2000, yeah, you're getting a lot more graphics with these. Um, Still seems to work quite well on Raspberry Pi, so no, no dramas here. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm playing a game that's probably not very interesting for you to watch, but just to say that actually, yeah, hey, these games play quite well. I can't see any particular problems with them. No stuttering or sort of bleaching or anything like that. Anyway, I'll let myself get killed and press two buttons to get out of that. And so that, that's pretty much it, really. Um, I will just show you Kodi very briefly. So Kodi is um, a software media center, as I'm seeing, reading it as it's scrolling up here. It's a media center, and I've just put, uh, just for a bit of fun, really, um, I put some 1980s music on here. Uh, because I thought it went, yeah, went with the sort of style of the, the cabinet. Um, and so again, just using the, the various buttons on the front here, we can just go down, go to say um, albums, and then we can choose um, uh, a very, uh, I think, a very 1980s um, album. And we've got the Flanagan Cannibals. Or if you're not, if you don't want to listen to that, then you can try something from the, the Smiths. Maybe, yeah. Is, the quality is not that good, but uh, yeah, that's as loud as it gets. But yeah, just just for a bit of fun. Anyway, gonna uh, break out of that one, and we can go back to. If I press.
press the right buttons, we can go back to the normal menu for Raspberry Pi. So what I'll do now is I'll, I'll bring the camera over, I'll get a little bit more of a scene. So the controls, um, yeah, you can't see them very well, can you? That's not much good. I think I'll just show the screen. So yeah, so we, there we've got Cody, and then we go across to the next menu. We've got all the arcade games that I've loaded on there. And again, just pressing a uh, the left hand of the blue buttons starts the program to load up. And then once you're in, you can press the coin button. There we go. Press another coin button. Air Gex blows your socks off. Blows your socks off. So yeah, now this is going to be... Uh, Yep, I'm not going to be able to play with one hand, am I really? I'm going to kill a few things. Maybe turn the volume down a little bit so you can maybe hear my voice and that's me uh, getting wiped out. But yeah, let's just break out of that one. And again, I'll just show you uh, how you can go. Let's have a look at a really old game, Phoenix. Yes, one that I remember playing at college many, many years ago. So yeah, there's be a shout out to Jez and Steve. Played this game so many times in the local pub. Squandering 10 peas in the machine. Oh dear, working with one hand, he's gonna get, he's gonna, oh no, he's managing to, oh, there we go. All gone. Anyway, finishing off, yep, just straight back to the screen. And in terms of powering down, that's just a case of knocking the switch off underneath. Uh, it seems like the Raspberry Pi goes off immediately, but it doesn't. It actually goes through a shutdown routine, which takes around about 30 seconds. Probably not very interesting to see. You'll just have to believe me that it works. Okay, thanks for watching. See you now.